Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to do some C deck replacement. I'm going to replace this piece right here. And I'm also going to show you how I'm going to fix some of the C deck pieces on my trailer. Um, so I'm going to start with this and I'm going to show you a few tools I have here. So here's my replacement piece right there. And also, I have some tape so that I can tape it down as I'm putting it on, keeps it aligned. Um, I have some acetone that I'm going to use to clean the edges. Um, C deck has a video I watched. It said that um, you don't have to remove all the adhesive that's there so long as it's still sticky and clean. So really this is just to kind of clean the edges if there's any dirt on the edges. Um, and then I have, uh, I have a, a shirt uh, to do the cleaning with. I have myself a little Bondo spreader that I'm gonna use to do some of this to help me scrape up the C deck. In the C deck video I watched, some of the pieces broke as they came off. Um, and if I end up with little pieces, my buddy gave me this little plastic razor blade. Um, he said it works really good, so I'll get to try that out. Um, basically, they're little razor blades that are plastic, so they don't do damage to uh, plastic surfaces, um, as opposed to a, a metal razor blade. Uh, the first step is figuring out I know, I know I need to take this off right here and I know there's just two bolts behind it. So I'll just move, put the engine hatch up and get that off. Um, but what I didn't realize is there's actually a lip right here and that lip goes below this cushion right here. Um, so I'm going to have to try to remove that as well. So that's what I'm going to work on here for the next few minutes. And I'm just going to time lapse some of this. Okay. So I just want to show you this here. So there, there are the two nuts slash bolts I need to remove. Um, and then for the cushions, it looks like there's just one here, one there, and then same thing on the other side, one here and one there. All right, so now you can see that I have the cushion off. And I'm gonna clean this a little bit. Um, now I should be able to take this guy off. So there's that piece. And I'll set him aside somewhere. And now I should just start be able to start pulling this off.
So that was a blast. I thought that was going to come off a lot easier than it did when I watched the Sea Deck video. Um, they make it look way easier. They make it look like it starts coming off in one whole piece. Um, it was a pain in the butt. Uh, I started by just trying to pull it up and I was using that little Bondo scraping tool um, and I was pulling this corner up right here and I was trying to pull up that corner and it just kept on wanting to break and it was uh, leaving some pieces behind. Um, I tried using that scraper, the little plastic razor blade thing that I had. I broke two of them. Uh, that thing was not working out at all for this. Then I went full force and I first grabbed my drywall mudding uh, tool um, and then I grabbed a paint scraper and finally I grabbed my multi-tool um, and actually I wish I would have had the paint scraper head for the multi-tool um, and I'll put a picture of that here but I didn't have one and, and it's Thanksgiving today so um, everything's closed so I went into the heads that I have and one of my saw blade heads was pretty pretty worn out. Most of the teeth were gone. So what I did is I just uh, I have a little grinding tool and I ground all the teeth off of that and made it into a smaller version of the paint scraping head. Um, and I was able to get it all off. And it was just it was still a pain, but it went way quicker after that. Um, and you could you could see that it um, just a lot of the black was being left on. And um, after I got a little ways into it though, I stopped worrying about whether or not. Uh, it would adhere to the surface if there was some stuff there um, because holy crap that stuff that stuff was sticking so hard um, and you can tell that when I put this down I mean it went on really really well um, so and it is just a slightly different uh, shade right here um, but I, that it, just from this being used and I thought about replacing this but the reason why I did not replace any of the other pieces that came with it is because it'll be nice to have those if there is some damage that happens to one of these two pieces or over there or that piece there or that piece there um, or this piece here i have those in that bag right there so it'll be nice to have those if something happens to them but boy i'm not in a hurry to do that ever again um, that took probably two and a half hours just to remove that uh, and then I, I used acetone to clean up all the edges. I was scraping some of that excess uh, black parts of the sea deck off, um, just making sure it was nice and flat. Um, and it turned out pretty good. Uh, it made a mess, so I had to vacuum several times, and I think I'm gonna vacuum again. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing it, uh, but I couldn't find it online. So uh, yeah, please comment below if you have better ideas. But I thought this would be a good video to share because um, you know, I went and looked for a video like this online and all I could find was CDEX video. And like I said, they made it look way easier. Um, and uh, I, I, I got to a point where I wasn't worried about scratching the underneath of this too bad because you're never gonna see it. And the light scratches that I probably did make while I was doing that, um, if you ever wanted, if, if somebody ever wanted to uh, just have this be just a clear coat and not C deck or something like that, which I don't think it would ever be the case, um, then you could just lightly sand it and polish it and it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I no longer have that little spot uh, here and there was a little cut right here as well. Um, so those are gone. It looks fresh and new now. Now I'm way happier with it. All right, so now I'm going to work on getting the C deck pieces on the trailer to attach as well as I can. Um, because like I said, when I first picked up the boat, in pictures, I noticed that the C deck was missing from several spots on the trailer, and I talked to the guy that I worked with at the dealer about it, and he said that it's just because uh, it's just because Extreme Trailers just puts the C deck on as is; they don't add any extra. And when you have a uh, Rhino lined trailer, um, it doesn't work so great. So uh, that works really good with a smooth surface, not so great with this rough surface. So what he said that they usually do to cure that problem is they add more adhesive. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I actually already have most of these pulled off. When they're this easy to take off, uh, that means that there's not enough good adhesive on it. And you can see how much dust is under there. I took off all those on the back. And I'm going to show you what it's like taking this one off, uh, just to show you how easy it is to take them off. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and reapply some more adhesive to it. So, so I'm just using this little Bondo scraper tool. Um, and just kind of helping it pull it up. You can really just kind of pick it up like this and it's coming off. You just want to be careful. There might be some spots where it's a lot, a lot more 
it's, a, it's attached a lot better and and you wouldn't want to rip your sea deck because I can't even find where you can buy these replacements online so you'd probably have to order them through your dealer uh, if you were going to replace these on your trailer <clears throat> look how dirty that is that means a lot of a lot of there's not a lot of contact with the glue I find it works best if you kind of do this motion it comes off in spots and this is actually one of the harder ones to get off and that's easy so that's already off there you can see how dirty that is so my first step is going to be to clean that up okay so to get these attached i'm going to be using this 3m 90 spray adhesive um the guy at the dealer told me this is what they use. I did some research and as far as spray adhesive goes, I think this is probably the best stuff you're gonna find. Uh, if somebody knows of some better stuff, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, but this is what I'm using. So for the rest of this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some video of getting, these, getting this cleaned up and reattached. All right, so it is the next day here, and I just want to show you how the C deck adhesive worked out on the trailer. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you around here. So here's the front pad, and none of it is moving. I mean, I can't even try to pick up one of these corners uh, on any of it. Um, it is solid. Uh, so I know I did. I know that 3M adhesive worked really, really well. But I did stop my time lapse yesterday, and the reason for that is because uh, I was starting to have to put weights on it, and uh, it wasn't sticking the way I wanted it to, and I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch me try to hold it down forever. But I learned a lesson, and I figured it out shortly after that. I had six pieces that I needed to re-glue down, and when I got to the fourth one, I finally did it the right way. Um, the, the can, now I read this on the can before I did it, um, but I did not think it was going to be this crucial. Um, but the can did say to spray the adhesive down and to let it basically dry for about five-ish minutes, two to five minutes. Um, but basically give it some fresh air time so that it can get tacky um, before you actually uh, before you actually put the C-deck down or whatever you're putting down to adhere to the surface. Um, and I did that on the fourth one and it made an incredible difference. I didn't have to put any weight on it. I used a roller that I have um, that I've used in the past to press down cove base, which is trim for inside your house. And I didn't have to put any weight on it. It worked incredibly well. So that's what I did for the last two pieces. And after that, I realized that um, if, you, if you put it down too quickly um, and you have edges that are sticking up like you saw, saw in the time lapse, um, and I was putting weight, different weights and boards on it. Um, just let it stay open for a little while so that it gets air to it um, for about you know two to five minutes, and then go ahead and press it down, and then it'll be nice and tacky and sticky, and it'll stay down. Um, so uh, after that, it worked out great, and I and I'm pretty certain this stuff is probably not going to move at all. And if I have to redo it, that's fine because now I know exactly how to do it. Uh, but this stuff is just not moving anywhere. I mean, I can't even find an edge that I can pick up on it. Um, and that is exactly what you want. So um, so I'm pretty happy that. And um, I would also say if you do this, don't worry about getting extra glue out on the C-Deck or on the trailer um, because 
Afterwards, you can just go around with acetone, a rag and acetone, and just wipe up the glue. The glue comes right off with acetone. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it, it worked out pretty good. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope this video helped you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts about this video or ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.